this is our packaging area where we package and bottle all the materials that we produce at this facility. Uh, each day at the start of each production run, the production people will load the hoppers with the empty bottles, they load them with caps, they load the pill counter with the various tablets or pills to be bottled that day, labels are put on, and the lot coating system is ready. Once everything is ready to run, quality control comes in and verifies that we've got the proper number of uh, containers, we've got the right lot number, we have everything is in accordance with the batch paperwork for that production. Once quality control releases the production line to begin running, they will start the process up and then quality control will come back every 30 minutes and double check to make sure the proper number of tablets are still going into the bottles, everything, the lot number is still very legible on the product, the labels are still going on straight, everything is in accordance with our batch paperwork. The production people also perform 30-minute uh, checks to make sure that everything is done in accordance with the batch paperwork. Production starts out with the bottle actually going into a hopper and into the descrambler. It then goes through a deionized air blast to empty out any dust or particles that may have been accumulated, although there shouldn't be any. Uh, the bottle is then inverted and stood back up on the conveyor line to be filled by the tablet counter. The bottles proceed down the conveyor line to the tablet counter and they are filled two bottles at a time to through two separate counting heads. Each head has six different electronic eyes that count the number of tablets that pass by it and go into the bottle. When the num proper number of tablets are in each bottle, gates close and don't allow any more tablets to be, uh, go into the bottle. If there's something happens in a broken tablet or a two tablets stuck together happen to go through the tablet counter, a tablet counter has a rejection arm that will reject that. A tablet counter will also reject any underfilled or overfilled containers. Once the properly filled container is ready to proceed, the gates on the tablet counter will open and allow those two bottles to continue down the line and two more bottles will begin to be filled. From the tablet counter, the next step of the process is the cotton inserter. The cotton inserter puts, tears a small piece of cotton and puts it in each bottle and then tamps it in securely. Once the, the cotton is added to the bottle, it's then ready to go on to the next step of the process, which is the metal detector. This metal detector is very sensitive and can detect down to sub-millimeter sized metal particles in the product, no matter where it's at in the product. After the material has passed through the metal detector, the next step is to add the lid to the container. The lid picks, is picked up by the containers, it goes down the line, and then a set of quills reverse the thread so that everything's aligned for proper tightening of the lid. The next three sets of quills then tighten those lid down on the container so we now have a sealed container. The full seal is contained in the lid, and as the bottle passes under the induction sealer, the full is sealed to the container, and we now have a tamper-evident bottle ready for packaging. After we have the seal placed on the bottle, we then put a label on it and then a unique lot number for that particular lot and a best before date, if necessary, is added to the bottle. The bottles then continue down the line to the accumulation table where they are collected by the production personnel and put in boxes or other containers for shipment or handling. At this point, the bottle is, or finished goods is considered to be under quarantine and we will hold it for a minimum of five days while we test for additional microbial contamination and also to test the potency purity and that of the finished goods to make sure what we say is on the label is indeed in the bottle where it's supposed to be. That process may take up to 15 days for us to complete to make sure you can be guaranteed that what's on the label is in the bottle and then in the product that you're consuming. The powder filling operation is very similar to the tablet filling operation. The empty canisters go through the scrambler and the inverter and are placed upon the conveyor line to be filled. They proceed down the conveyor line to the powder filler where each canister is lifted up to the powder hopper, filled with a specified amount of material and lowered back and placed upon the conveyor line. The canister then proceeds across the check wire to make sure the proper weight was achieved. If the proper weight was achieved, it's allowed to go on down the conveying line to the metal detector and then to the capper, to the labeler, and to the ink jetter until the finished product arrives at the accumulation table.